G'day all, I've got um, my Zod Dart XL Extreme out on the floor here. I'm going to give this a, a maiden today, it's going to go out and it's going to be running a R9 Slim Unit receiver system, long range. I'm not going to be taking it far. I'm going to be running a ZOHD 10,000 milliamp lithium iron battery in it. Uh, so I don't plan to do a great deal, I'll do a bit of an auto tune on it. If, it. if it gets up in the air I want to auto launch it. I've got the settings done for that. Um, plan to do an auto, a ser auto, servo auto trim and an auto tune on it. And get a bit of a feel for it and just see how its characteristics are and what it's needing. So yeah, we'll just go out of the field and we'll um, throw it up in the air and see how we go. So here I am at the field guys, um, if you just could hear that there was a split, split moment there the um, motor cut out and you had a bit of video feed go as well, that was the start of, that was the, start of the problem. Um, other than that the plane fly, is flying very well, it launched pretty good. I did end up doing a uh, servo auto trim and the auto tune on it before I heard the motor problem. Now the motor problem I heard at about the five minute mark of the flight. You can't hear it on the video but it, um, you'll hear it later on when I get back home. It, um, it's hard to explain, it sounded a little bit like cogging in cars, it was, yeah. A strange sound anyway, I heard it a couple of times and I ignored it the first time. Um, and after about the tenth minute, uh, it, it felt like it was about to cut out. So I thought I'd better rush down and, and, and land it. Yeah, we'll go over the problems of that in, in a minute once we, once we get it down. But the flight itself is good. Um, as you can see it's flying quite nicely around the field here, I just kept it in line of sight. just while I gave it the auto tune. Um, had a few issues with the video cutting in and out which I have to address. It shouldn't be like that. It's running a 1.3 gigahertz part-time receiver so I think um, I'm getting a little bit of interference somewhere there. Plus the brownout, it seemed like a brownout at the start. I've got to investigate that, whether that was part of the motor issue I had as well. I'm not too sure. It was around about this period here I, I, I felt like there was some issue going on with the motor. I heard it a few times. Uh, my wife who's there even mentioned it as well. It sounded like a funny sound coming out of it when it went past and yeah we um, we worked that out pretty quick. It was an issue with the motor so I highly recommend anyone that buys a Zod just well, any plane, plane really check your check your um, thread locks and stuff like that. So I've come in for a landing. The landing was all good cut the motor and that's it. So that was about it um, for my maiden flight. I did, did send it up again uh, a day or two later after I, I, I went through the, the issue which we'll go through right now with you at home. Back from the flying field, so that was the maiden. The maiden was really good. But I bought the, the plane down, um, I was having a motor problem on its, on its first flight. So I'm just going to investigate, it's very loose here, so I'm just hoping it's just the adapter here that's come loose. Um, it doesn't sound right though. We'll see anyway, I'll take it apart and have a look because it's very loose. I was lucky I bought the, the craft down in time. Because it would have come down pretty quick otherwise. I mean I find it very hard that the motor's gone just like that, but it was quite warm. Looks like this has just come loose. 
I might have to tighten that with some um, use a bit of Loctite on those. Lucky that actually caught that in time. Yeah, guys, I'd suggest if you get one of these craft, check the um, check this because this was the first flight, and I was lucky that never come off. I don't know if you can see that, but there's no Loctite on those nut on those screws. So with this Loctite, I'm just using medium strength, so you can you can undo these bolts and snug them up. Don't over tighten them, but just snug them up. And they're all loose, so I'm glad that that happened now when I wasn't in a long range flight and I could hear it when the plane was flying above me it sounded like cogging like you get when in some RC cars when you've got the gearing the gearing too tall the motor was hot though it was quite hot to touch when I come down so I don't know whether that had anything to do with the the prop being loose or the prop adapter being loose and see this this is the um, older version of this Zod Dart XL it's the extreme model which hasn't got a see that's not even you see some of these aren't even that tight really go over your bolts guys if you get one of these I was very lucky even this should really be bolted with nuts and bolts not just a, a timber I think I might do some modifications here this is a known part that fails on these early dart um, the dart extremes they got the enhanced now it's got a much better motor mount I don't know whether you can get that as a separate piece or not to exchange for this um, if you can I might look at even doing that but all it's got is timber screws going through so you, you strip that out we you over tighten it this whole motor can just basically work its way loose what you need at, in this instance maybe what I'll do is run a bolt through with a nut on the other side and lock tight the nut that way it's gonna it's not gonna loosen itself the motor mount here I've secured with hot glue at the back here to help strengthen that but it's still not as as strong as the um, enhanced version there Alright, so what we'll do now, um, I'm just going to hook this up to iNav and um, just run the motor. Alright, so we'll connect up to iNav now and um, test this motor out and see how it's going. Alright, so we've connected up. I'll just turn the transmitter on. Welcome to OpenTS. That don't sound good, does it? So the main issue I had with this motor here um, on the Maiden, as you heard, I'll show you here. It's just, um, it was making noises, losing a lot of power. So I landed it pretty quick after about 10 minutes. Um, I've pulled the motor apart and had a look and I've, heard, I've, I've found out too that these earlier Zod darts um, the, the, the motor, it's apparently it's a sunny sky motor which have a pretty good reputation but apparently these aren't real good from what I've heard so uh, what happened here, I've taken the motor apart and um, found there was loose magnets I had three loose magnets in it and um, that was what was causing the, the issue I um, super glued them in. I'm not going to keep this motor, I'm going to replace it because I don't trust it, but I've given it another flight since the Maiden and I've super glued in the magnets. Every every um, every every magnet's been super glued in and it flew fine. It, um, it seemed to have fixed it. 
and I took it for a flight of around 10, 15 minutes it was and it flew fine. Saying that, I'm not trusting it, I'm not, I'm not planning to um, leave it in there, I don't have faith in this motor now after what it did do um, on the Maiden, so we're replacing that. I've got a, a Sunny Sky, an original Sunny Sky coming uh, to 1250 kV, 2216 motor, so it's a little bit lo lesser kV, um, but that won't matter. And I'll still run the same, uh, the same prop. So yeah, that's about that. So I hope you enjoyed that maiden and a little bit of an insight into a couple of issues I've had. Um, I've also, I've also bolted the motor mount with some, uh, with some uh, bolts and a nut on the back there. It's strengthened it, and I've just kind of reinforced the best I could around here with some hot glue. It's still. It's better than what it was, but still not great. But anyway, the Zod diet flies beautifully. It's um, very, I was impressed with the way it flew. I, I found it a very lovely cruiser. Um, it's got a few issues though. So anyone that buys them, especially if you've got the early versions, if you've got the later one, they fixed a few things. The enhanced version's got better, some better um, improvements to it. But yeah, it's, um, it's a good plane that just needs a little bit of tweaking here and there. So yeah, that's the maiden of my flight. I'll try and do some longer ones with that as the weather sort of now starts to improve through the year and get the other planes out as well. So stay tuned guys and um, hope you enjoyed that uh, little flight and uh, bye for now.